Welcome everybody to World of Tech. Today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to install the Compass Config Setting Manager. Now, in this video, we'll be explaining things so you can do it along with us. So you won't have to look back and forth at the screen. And of course, if there does come something up, you can always look at the screen to get your help. The first thing we want to do is we're going to open up our trash can, which of course has no trash in it. But we just want to show you that there's no effects yet so you know we haven't installed this. Now I can drag this window around, you'll see nothing happens to it. I can maximize this, nothing. I can restore it back to that original size, and of course there's no effects. Minimize, nothing. Restore that, and close, no effects. So you must be thinking, this must be hard to do. But in actuality, it's simple. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is go to System, Administration, Additional Drivers. What we're doing here is it's going to search for the available drivers and hopefully will pick up your graphics card. Now, when this opens up, if you don't see anything, then you're going to have to probably research a little bit more about your computer and see if your graphics card is actually up to date. As you can see here, we have a green dot next to our graphics card. And mine, of course, is an ATI AMD graphics card. It was automatically in the computer when I bought it. So, yours might be a transparent or a clear looking dot, and when you click it, it'll say something like install. In my case, it says remove because, well, mine's installed. So, since mine's already installed, we're just going to go ahead and close out of this. But in your case, you would install it, and after you install, it's going to reboot your computer. Now, when you reboot, you're going to be back at your desktop. Now that you're back at your desktop, Let's go to Applications. We're going to go to the Ubuntu Software Center. Once the center is um, opened, we're going to actually, I'm going to make mine back to regular size, and we're going to type in on the search bar in Software Center CompPiz, and to spell that as C O M P I Z. And you're going to see two versions and uh, the advanced desktop effects and then the simple. We're just going to go ahead and install the simple one. And what this will do is allow us to install the advanced one at the same time. Now to do this, you're going to have to authenticate it. So you'll enter your password, authenticate it, and in less than a couple of seconds, it's going to install the simple and the advanced desktop effects settings. Once this is installed, you'll notice two green check marks now, one that's on simple and one on advanced. Now we are done with installing stuff. Now as you can see, no effects still. Now, before we go ahead and install or open up the config settings, we want to go to application or accessories and go to terminal. Now, the coding that you're going to have to enter, we will uh, post in the show notes and you can just copy it since it'll be easier if you're already on Ubuntu. You can just copy and paste it in your terminal. But what this will allow us to do is it's going to allow us to have extra settings. It's actually going to give us extra plugins that we wouldn't have without this. So this kind of is a need. Without this, it's just going to be boring and you won't have that many settings. But anyways, it'd be sudo app-get install compass-fusion-plugins-extra. And like I said, it's in the show notes. And of course, you're going to have to enter your password, enter it, and it would install everything for you. In my case, it's already been installed. So now we're going to exit out of the terminal. And go back to System Preference Appearance. Once open, you'll notice theme, background, fonts, and visual effects. In this video, we need to click on Visual Effects. Now you'll notice from our introduction video of Ubuntu, there was only none, normal, and extra. Now we want to click on Extra. And by doing this, you will now have a wobbly window. And as you can notice in our video, it kind of wobbles when we turn it up, it's shaking, you know, anything like that. It, it acts weird. It's kind of cool. So, now that that's installed, we'll click close. Now before we click close though, if you already had it set on extra and you still don't have the effects after installing Compass, you need to click on normal, back to extra, and then close. And you'll have those settings. But now that that's done, let's go to system, preference, Compass config settings manager. You'll notice after installing the plugins, 
you now have more uh, options to do. For this example, we have a uh, accessibility one that where we can show the mouse. So real click, we just want to read what's going to initial it. Uh, to initiate this, we need to hit the super and the K button. In the case, if you're using a Windows uh, keyboard, it would be the window key and then the K. Or as if you're using an Apple keyboard, it would be the Apple key and K at the same time. And then we want, you know, if you want to play with the settings and options of how, what it would do, then this is what you need to do. You just well, play around the settings. But we'll just go ahead and enable this just to show it real quick. Now say if you didn't know where the mouse was for some reason, you had a background that kind of blended your mouse in at the same time, all you do is hit the win and the K key, and there you go. You now you know your mouse is within that rotating circle. And I mean, it's small things, but it's pretty cool. And then of course there's more settings and things you can play with to do cooler stuff. So we'll go ahead and shut that off. And of course, real quick, just to show it, the Win K key would uh, enable it in the same way it would disable that too. Or you can just uncheck it like I'm going to do. <laughs> and then we'll back out of that. And now you can see more things. Accessibility, you have an ADD helper, magnifier, uh, zoom desktop, you know, color filters, the brightness, and all that. Um, of course, you can go down and you have clone output, desktop cubes, you know, for your desktop. You can do like a rotate cube, and to do this, we would look and let's see, rotate the cube. We would have to hit Control Alt and Button One. So it's Control Alt Button One. And I guess I need to enable this first, huh? Well, I'll do that. Enable Desktop Cube. And what you'll see is Rotate Cube requires to plug in Desktop Cube. And it says don't enable it or enable it. We'll just hit enable. And uh, plug in desktop wall provides the future large desktop, which also provides that. We'll just go ahead and uh, disable the desktop wall. Because desktop wall is just the switching of your you know settings. But we want to go back to 1. And control alt and 1. Now you can see it's now a cube. I can do that. I'm on screen 4 now, screen 3 screen 2 and back to screen 1. It's kinda cool. Um, we can go back uh, you know, play around with the settings if we wanted to but I mean there's not really much to play with. Um, we'll go back and of course there's that desktop cube uh, behavior, appearance um, hmm the sky dome we can have an animate sky dome sky dome so then there's like a sky in the background um, you can also have an image uh, I don't have any images on this computer though so I can't really show you that but basically what it would do is instead of having that blue and the, that yellow at the bottom it would be a picture of my you know choices and then of course uh, we can play around, have images for the top and bottom. Um, we're just going to do orange though, because I like orange. Orange is good. And of course you can see, I've got orange up there. So that's basically it though. We'll go ahead and back out of that. It's a nifty little thing. Um, effects, you have 3D windows. Uh, this is what we want to click on though. Uh, you're going to need to enable that to do any of these pretty much. Um, let's look at this real quick. I guess there must not be anything on that. And I believe that means... No. I don't know. It's something to play around with, something to have fun. We'll have more video and uh, advanced features as well. We'll show some uh, cool little things and a future video of things you can do. Um, and actually, we'll just review over different effects and compass stuff in our other video so please be sure to check that out till then this is Tyler from World of Tech and as we always say here get plugged in please sure to rate comment and subscribe and spread the word to help World of Tech return thank you guys and have a great Ubuntu day